Hello and welcome. Today I would like to show you this interesting little gadget which can be used to tie hooks, make loops and as a hook remover. I will tell you my personal opinion and whether I will be using it in the end of the video and will put the links in the description if you would like to check and compare the price. Before I begin, you can like or dislike the video as your opinion really matters to me and you can also subscribe to the channel if you would like to support it and see more fishing gadgets like this one and know how to use them. I publish my videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. The length of this gadget is 6.7 inches or 170 millimeters and the weight is only about 0.4 ounce or 10 grams. It has a quick knot tool at the front, loop tire at the back and a hook remover which is made from stainless steel. Also, as you can see, it has a hanging hole for the ring over here. As there is nothing else to tell about this gadget, let me quickly demonstrate you how you can easily tie hooks, make loops and remove hooks with the help of this tool. To tie hooks, you just take the line and wrap it around the knot tool about 5-7 times. After you've done it, hold the wraps with your index finger. The tag end goes through the middle of the wraps that you've just done from the back to the front. Put the hook between the wraps and simply pull the tag end so that it would slip from the tool onto the hook. Make the knot tight cut unnecessary line and that is it with the hook. I will make the loop on the same line as I've tied the hook to. You make a loop from the line and hold the middle of it with your index finger. Take a bit more line if you are doing it for the first time. The double line goes around this part here and you start spinning the tool. Some do it once, but I've noticed that if you do it twice, the knot that you'll make will be much stronger. The loop that you are holding with your index finger goes on to this top part of the knot tire. Pull the line to make the knot tight and remove the line from the bottom part of the knot tire. Pull the main line one more time and that is it. To remove the hook from the fish's mouth you simply put the hook remover around the line and gently slide it to the fish's mouth. Locate the hook, push the tool a bit to unhook the fish and just remove it. To me, this gadget is probably one of the best ones so far which I've tested and showed on my channel. It is way better than these two combined together, at least that is what I think at the moment after I've tested it. In general, I would say that it is a very good gadget which does not cost a lot and does the job well. I'll put it to the real test in a few weeks and decide if I'll be using it or not, but from what I can see right now, I probably will. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video and I'll try to reply to all of them and I really hope that the time you've spent watching this video was useful. I would also recommend you visiting fishmatpro.com website where I share information about different fish species, lines, reels, rods and a lot of other stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.